Hey guys, Z Legend plays here back by another video and yes this today will be a double upload. I will be doing Elimination Chamber tips and yeah. Now a first few tips before we get into some gameplay and some actual in-game tips is my first tip is for momentum slots put your females in since if you were wanting to come first in your league Get a lot of combat points and save up for beasts and monster cards and anything you really want. I'd, I would suggest putting your top three or how many momentum slots you have unlocked in to mold your females. So I've put my Alexa, my Charlotte, and my other Charlotte. They are were all my three best females, and that is what I'd suggest doing if you are doing me serious and trying to get number one in your league and trying to get good combat point rewards. My also <clears throat> my second tip is to you have to max out your cards. Every single card in your deck has to be maxed out because I'm telling you this now. If you have a card that's level 20 out of 35, for example, it is going to lose every time. Because, for example, if it is a WrestleMania 33 and it's about 18,000 stats by level 25 or something, it will probably, you'll probably get matched up against someone who has an ultimate, and the ultimate will just beat it. And it's pretty much a waste of spot. So, I definitely suggest you need to max out your cards. Now, on to my. Next tip is when you're actually playing a game is to save your best cards. Now it may sound a bit stupid, but I found saving my like my best cards like my Charlotte's and my Alexa to be the better thing. So starting off I get my Charlotte, but I'm gonna save it and yes I get my Sasha Banks uh, and what this will do is it just chips off the opponent's better cards from turn the volume down actually. So I have my Charlotte here, I'm going to save it, I have my page. And what this will do is it will just eliminate the weaker cards. So then by the time you're, it's just your best cards left, your best cards are versing cards that have been weakened and etc. So I actually get a decent deck to get my few elites, uh, I've got one, one of my hardens, and I get my elite pro Charlotte and my WrestleMania 33 Charlotte. People are, have also been asking me what my best card is. It is Ultimate Pro Gallows, unfortunately. It is actually, I've done all the matches and all that, but it's actually pretty weak. It's, I think Elite Gallows is one of the worst ones. Now, but when it gets to about three or two people, like cards left, I do start to use my better cards. Um, okay, I screwed it so hard in Becky Lynch. I won't take too much off the Charlotte. So it's now five to two. If you can win, maybe three, three nil. It's good. That's a good result. As you can see, I got my Charlotte again, and I'm going to use it. And he's doing his Nikki Bella, which bear in mind, I chipped a lot of the stats off, and that's how I won that. And that's what I'm meaning about if you can chip other people's cards early off in the match, you will be able to finish them off. Now, I'm assuming I'll win unless, yep, I've won. And guys, that is how to win most your games and come to off your group. In Elimination Chamber WWE Supercard Season 4. This has been Z Legend Plays, and I'll see all you people later. Thank you so much for 214 subs and counting, and I'll see you all later. Peace out.